Jenna Sackett here, kicking off the opportunities section of today's event. So we are going to be diving into markets that you can sell to using Ultra Color Soft or just in general as a heat printer, even outside of Ultra Color Soft, but why this product can easily sell to a variety of markets. And in this session, we're going to be discussing the markets at leisure and fitness. Before we dive in, I want to um, let you know that Molly and Shauna are here with me. I'm going to answer any questions that you guys have. So be sure if you guys have any questions to comment those in the chat section. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. So as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about how you can get started um, selling to. One second, going to adjust my screen here, um, how you can get started selling into the athleisure and fitness market. And why is this a market that you would even want to consider? So on the next slide, you will see um, a graph here done by the uh, Morgan and Lay's global, global active wear sells as just gym clothes. And it has really sprouted into brands that have a mass following. So when we talk about brands that are extremely trendy in retail, we, we all know Under Armour, Adidas, Nike, but it's even gone outside of that um, where people within the gym and fitness and wellness world um, have small brands and shops that they like to shop with, such as Gymshark or um, Navigation, um, Live Fit. There's a variety, and this this market just continues to grow. So products like sweatshirts, hoodies, performance tees, leggings, they've all become staple pieces in modern lifestyle. Um, type of clothing. And they're worn even outside of the gym. Um, we're starting to see them incorporated into day-to-day -day wear. So active wear sales has grown exponentially within the past decade. Um, allied market research expect, expects the global active wear market to reach um, a value of 546.8 million by 2024. So in just a few years, um, you can, as a heat printer, be able to um, take a piece of this pie by offering active wear into um, different markets and um, niches within the market that are local or even if you want to sell online. And consumers, um, why, why this continues to be important is because consumers are continuing to prioritize being healthy and practicing wellness. Um, and they're doing it in style. So they're looking for trendy pieces that they can wear to the gym or to run errands. Um, so not only is it specific to people that are extremely active, but other people are taking advantage of athleisure and fitness apparel um, because it's becoming more accessible. We're starting to see it a ton in retail. We have been seeing it a ton in retail um, and they're just incorporating, as I mentioned, that into their day-to-day -day wear. So it's gonna go beyond even some of those um, niches within the market, right? So then we need to consider who to sell to. We need to understand the demographic, demographic and its characteristics. So as you can see on the screen here, um, this is the Nielsen Global Consumer Exercise Survey. And you can find research very similar, similar to this on the internet by just doing a quick uh, Google search and you will find very quick insight into these industry trends. So what I found here um, is a great idea of who is buying this apparel in this market. So you can better understand the products that you're considering uh, printing um, and have quick insight into the industry trends so that you know what's going to hold the most potential to this client base. So just by looking at this exercise trends research, 
you'll quickly be able to work out that the key sportswear categories that are most in demand um, are gym and free weight gear and yoga and dance merch. And as you can see, 81%, millennials make up 81% of the pie here, all right? So that's 18 to 34 year olds. So that gives you a really good idea of what demographic um, is within this market so that you are equipped to select the best apparel to reach the demographic within this market. All right, so now, Let's break out the market and understand what types of customers fit within this market. Um, so these are the top five customer groups um, that I selected or niches, if you will, that fall under this market category. And um, number one on the list is studios. So that ranges anywhere from yoga and Pilates, dance studios, um, and then we have fitness facilities. So CrossFit, cycling, boxing, any type of facility that has some type of activity going on, recreational centers, um, things like that. Then we have number three on the list, which is brands. And brands for supplements, gear, um, weightlifting type brands, what they want to do is typically what they have is promo products. But we are starting to see a lot of these brands start incorporating apparel and selling that alongside some of the other equipment and um, supplements that they are selling. Next is four, so wellness and spas. So things like resorts and beauty bars, and then events. So events, a lot of these um, other category or these customer groups show up at these events and they wanna be able to sell apparel. Um, one of the largest events that one of these fall under is um, the Arnold Classic, right? Happens every year in March, um, other than this year, obviously, but it's kicking back off next year. Um, and all of the um, supplement brands, facilities, they all go to this big event. And there's more throughout the year that you could be um, getting involved with, printing on demand, offering these um, pieces. Also open houses and competitions. So um, competitions are really big within the fitness world. So being able to go in and print for the competition is another great idea. So I just wanna pause for a moment um, so that we can uh, really understand why we want to consider this as a market that we want to sell to uh, and why we're breaking out all these different customers because active wear is continuing to trend. As I mentioned earlier, it's going to reach 546.8 million by 2024. And as a heat printer and with just a heat press and with just ultra color soft, you can easily jump into this category and be able to sell to these folks. The folks that we're talking about are those five listed, and it's really easy to be able to find out who is in your area that you can sell to. So next on the list um, for our presentation, we have where can you find these types of customers? So researching local gyms, wellness centers, or studios in your area with either Google all right, doing a quick Google search, uh, social platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. These can help to select a niche that you would like to target for prospective customers in your area. Um, why is this something that you should do? Well, it's going to help you dig deeper into survey data um, and you can gather more information and uh, really learn more about your target market and what their inner drivers are to exercise. So as I mentioned earlier, millennials, that demographic within this market, they are so adamant about what they look like when they're going to the gym. Um, I've heard quotes that are like, look good, feel good, work out good. So they're always worried about what's new. They follow popular brands for when they're dropping apparel and they immediately buy that apparel because they love that brand. 
Um, one brand that's doing this really well is known as Alphalete. Um, it started out with a bodybuilder uh, known as Christian Guzman, and he created this giant following um, on YouTube. People were just following his story. And then he eventually ended up with his own apparel brand in line. Um, and now, um, because this following has tuned into him, he knew that they would want to buy apparel for them. So he knew their inner drivers and what got them to exercise. So they would follow him and everything that he would put out there content wise for what they should be doing in the gym. Now he's equipping them with supplies, um, gear and the like, right? So really great um, way to even be able to get connected with people in your area, maybe fitness trainers that want to start their own brand. So just thinking outside the box, different ways that you can sell athleisure and fitness apparel and really drive, drive it home in this market. Right. And then as soon as you discover um, or uncover what the motivations are for your customer or your prospective client um, and really know what matters, that's what's going to help you print products uh, that align with their personal values and their aspirations. So, for example, um, I have a friend that owns a gym in this area. He's actually listed over here, um, the Iron Forge Gym. And I would always talk to him about what type of apparel he is selling and what he wants to sell. Um, and it really helps me understand um, what the um, attendees of that gym would want to wear so that he could successfully sell his product to them and I could sell to him as the printer, All right? So whether it's tees, tanks, gym bags, yoga pants, Whatever it may be, it needs to be authentic and speak to your customer. So whenever I spoke with Trevor, the owner of Iron Forge Gym, the key factors that came into play were functionality, comfort, and that it needed to be fashionable. All right, so let's go ahead and review some of the apparel pieces that were selected to sell directly to this market and how you can use samples like this to go to your prospective client. So the first thing that was printed with Ultra Color Soft was this long sleeve tee. All right, so this is a new era brand and this is available on Sanmar. One thing that you'll notice is that I selected um, very nice like higher end type items from Sanmar to um, put on uh, to use ultra color soft on. So it wasn't just 100% cotton. We're looking at a lot of blends, 100% polyester, some spandex mixes, things that are um, a little bit, um, have a little bit more value or profit opportunity within the blank piece. And then we're just adding the more profitable piece by putting on the ultra color soft with it. So this is a new era long sleeve tee and it is a heathered texture. And as you can see, printing with Ultra Color Soft, because it is that low temp application, we don't have any issue with printing some of these higher end items. So New Era is a really great brand when approaching this market. Another great brand is Sport Tech. So Sport Tech, um, we talk about a lot. We love the ST350. It's a really popular t-shirt by them. 100% polyester and just looks really great um, whenever you're printing ultra color on that. Um, I showed it earlier in the application section of how to heat press ultra color, shop, oh, ultra color soft, and uh, we were able to get a really nice stretch with it. Sport Tech does a lot of really nice outerwear type items. And what I love about this is it this is the ladies cut version. It has the um, tapering in the back and a drop seam. Um, so another really great high-end item. Another great t-shirt by Sport Tech. This is a heathered poly tee. Um, so just adding more texture to it, but this is just a standard short sleeve t-shirt. 
And then we are kicking it up a notch by um, going with Ogeo, right? So we showed New Era, really great brand that works really well with Ultra Color Soft. Then we are discussing um, Sport Tech, that being a really great brand, looking at some of their um, more higher end items. And then Ogeo is a really awesome brand. And I just love how the tone on tone effect uh, worked out with this because we're working on a heathered charcoal piece. And this is a really unique hoodie because it has a cow neck to it and hood. All right. And then we took advantage of an additional print location. So throughout the event, we've been talking a lot about um, printing in unique locations to add more profit opportunity. And that's what we want to do whenever we're approaching clients. We want to show them everything that we can do whenever we're um, able to show them samples. I can add an additional placement here. And then once they see that and love it, you're building more profit opportunity into that single piece. So we did a sleeve print. All right, that is the Ogeo hoodie. And then we have an Ogeo tank, All right? So this is a high neck racer back tank and it is a sublimated tank. So this is one you would definitely wanna use the ultra color blocker with. Jumping back to sport tech, this is a 100% poly mesh product. And we did a unique location for this where we printed the front lower seam, um, just to add a different look and mix it up a little bit from your standard full front placement. And then we have leggings. So these are an Ogeo brand. Um, they are the high waist. They have a little Ogeo emblem there. And what I love about this is it's very retail inspired. This is something that we're seeing a lot in the marketplace is that we um, are seeing these like laser etched or laser cut um, open areas for additional breathability. And what I love about Ogeo and a lot of the brands on Sanmar is that you are able to get um, a nice print area and print location with all of their products. They're always taking the heat printer um, or just custom apparel printer into consideration whenever they are selecting blanks um, to offer on their site. So Ogeo does this really well, New Era and Sport Tech. So those are just three brands to consider um, whenever you are looking for a, a, a variety of blanks that you can take to your customer. Now, one thing I want you to consider is to not overload them. So I have seven pieces here. I don't necessarily need to go and take them seven pieces. The reason I'm showing you seven pieces is because I want you to see that there are a variety of different finishes um, as far as apparel goes that you can print with Ultra Color Soft. And I had a ton of transfers. So I wanted to select a decent amount of apparel to be able to show you so that you can see it's all achievable. So with all of the designs that I have ganged up on my ultra color soft sheet, I was able to print all of these items with just one sheet, right? So that's kind of putting that into perspective for you. Um, I know Josh mentioned a customer saying he puts too many designs on one. Uh, but honestly, it helps in the long run, especially if you're just doing one brand and you need a lot of different logos for different placements and things like that. Now, what I did, um, and this is a, a little bit of a best practice for you, is I made sure that these two designs could go across different placements on different garments. All right, so whenever I'm building out my gang sheet, I'm making sure that multiples of these can work on different pieces. So for example, my large iron forge text that we're seeing here, that worked on the leggings, on the sleeve, and of the hoodie, and then also on the front lower seam of this garment, All right? So I was able to use that print in um, multiple, uh, pieces of apparel, right? So we talked about, um, you know, what 
different customer groups there are, uh, what key factors the demographic within these markets or niches are looking for, functionality, comfort, comfort, and fashionable, and all of these pieces hit all of those. So definitely consider those brands um, and then make sure you are ganging up your designs correctly on the ultra color sheet so you can make the most out of that sheet that you're paying for. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, you don't need to print all seven of these just to be able to show your customer what you are capable of doing for them. So let me do another screen share with you and show you an example of another way to show a customer what you're able to do for them. So what you're seeing on the screen now is our spirit sale platform. And this is a mock-up store done for this gym in particular. So this is all done in the spirit cell platform. We were able to create um, all these mock-up images. So all of the garments that I showed you um, are actually being represented on this store as well. And I sourced all of these garments from Sanmar. And you'll also notice two additional ones that I wanted to add on there just to be able to show a little bit more variety. Those ones are sourced from SNS Activewear. So the beauty of um, Spirit Cell is that it is directly connected uh, with the catalog of Sanmar and SNS Activewear. So it's easy for me to go in and create these mockups. So in the back end of Spirit Cell, all I did was import each individual um, item number, right? And then I just went in and dropped the logo. It's super, super simple to be able to create these mock-ups, create a store like this, and then show it to your client, right? So I just think outside of the box. If you don't want to go and buy a bunch of apparel, um, buy a bunch of ultra color uh, transfers, this is an alternative. And what's nice about Spirit Cell, even if you didn't land this client, which at this point, I don't know how you wouldn't be able to, um, but you can have unlimited stores on Spirit Cell. So um, even though I have this created as a sample store for them and they might want things interchanged, that's all fine and well, um, but I'm not limited to the amount of stores that I can produce. So I can make as many of these mock-up stores as I need to, to help me land a client. So take that into consideration whenever you want to show a client what you're capable of doing. All right, so you're seeing these mock-ups, you're seeing different print locations on the front of the garments, but you can also show a true shopping experience for your client and what they would be able to share with their customer as well. Um, so we see the front here with that left chest logo, and you can also get a back view for added print opportunity, which also yields a higher profit margin for you. Okay. All right. So again, um, this is spirit cell. We don't have enough time on hand today to dive into the back end so that I could show you how all of this stuff was created. But we are, um, we do have a video available to watch how you can create stores with the Spirit Cell platform. So you can check that out um, on the agenda page. It's towards the bottom, and you can watch those, any of those right now. But how to set up an online Spirit Cell store is there, and it'll show you exactly how this platform works. It's literally like seven steps. It's very simple. And at that point, you just start importing your apparel. It's a great little platform and super user friendly. All right, as we are wrapping up our presentation here, another thing um, that you'll want to consider is what your next steps are when it comes to printing. Um, for your customer or landing the job of a customer. Um, so you want to deliver an experience. You want to show them what you're capable of doing. So if you want to print a sample, um, but make it unique, um, a lot of people have already seen their design on a t-shirt for the most part when it comes to these gyms or brands that you may be approaching. So switch it up. Um, this cinch bag is a dollar ninety nine from Sanmar. So super simple to be to be able to create this sample 
and show them what they're capable of getting with you as their decorator. So not even though this bag is $1.99, it's still a quality product and you're able to show them the quality print that you're offering them with Ultra Color Soft, right? So buying an inexpensive blank doesn't even have to be a cinch bag. Um, it can be a variety of things. It can be a hoodie. There's so many different opportunities out there when it comes to um, really packing that extra punch whenever you're going with those or reaching these clients. Uh, so you can either hand deliver this, uh, mail it to them, and just include that messaging that's hey, that's saying, hey, let us print your merch. Let me show what, let me show you what else that I can do for you. Right. And that completes our presentation on how to uh, get started selling athleisure and fitness apparel um, to these customer groups. Now there are so many, and I'm sure there are a variety in your area. So it's really just reaching out, showing them what you're capable of doing for them and not being afraid to put yourself out there and the quality products that you're capable of producing for them with just a heat press and ultra color soft. Now I'm going to hand it over to Shauna to go ahead and um, point out any questions that came through during this session. Sure, so a couple of questions around how you applied the logos to the lace mm -hmm. and the sleeve, did you use a different platen, mouse pads, pillows? Um, so mouse pads definitely help with getting the seam out of the way. If you're not using uh, interchangeable platens, if you do have an interchangeable platen such as the leg and sleeve, um, then that I highly recommend. Uh, with the A to Z, I just laid it flat on there. <laughs> Um, one, I did have a hard time heat applying. It was the legging because I was a little too close to the seam, but I just laid it right back on there and hit it again a second time and increased my pressure a little bit more. But I highly recommend using the mouse pads and the interchangeable platens to your benefit to just knock those seams out of the way. Another question on the red shirt, did you use ultra color stretch with blocker? Um, which red shirt? So I just want to point out that I use ultra color soft on all of these. Um, the only one that I would have used the stretch with blocker is this one because it is sublimated. So you can actually see the pattern popping through there, which I think it's pretty cool, but the customer might not want to see that that's their brand. That's their logo. Um, so I would definitely use a blocker for this shirt because it is sublimated, but I did use soft on all of these products. Uh, and there were a couple of questions around the product numbers. Would you be able to go into the chat later and add some of the product numbers for the garments that you used? Absolutely. I can, um, share a link for each one. Okay. And then do you know the size of the sleeve transfer? Um, I believe it is, all right, let's see. This is 11 and a quarter. So it's about 10 inches in length. Um, okay, and also a product link to the shirt that you have on to the Unleash the Color shirt. Okay, yeah, I'll include that in the comments. I'll have to connect with Kelly Walters on that one. Okay. So it's from um, Sanmore and I'm pretty sure it's, it's sport tech as well. So I'll, I'll get the item number for that. Uh, I think we got all the questions. All right. Awesome. So John Laux is up next right at 430 where he's going to be talking how you can start selling to the sports market. Thank you guys so much for attending. I'll see you later in the Q&A.